This video is for diagnosing issues with poor video performance or low video resolution. Um, there's very, very few things that can actually cause this. Um, as you can kind of see, the icons here are pretty big. If I kind of go back and see everything's pretty big on that screen in comparison. Uh, we're running at 800 by 600 uh, resolution. You can right click on your desktop, go to properties, and go under settings. And you'll see uh, exactly what resolution you're running at there. 800 by 600, just like I said. And you see there's a little slider here. You can slide it up. And you can increase it uh, to go along with whatever resolution you want to run at. Uh, but there's also something else that can be causing this. See how it says display default monitor on and there's nothing listed. Normally what this is is display default monitor or whatever model monitor you have on and then it lists the model graphics card you have. So what that tells me is that the graphics card driver is not installed. So just like with the sound card you right uh, click on your start menu and then right click on your my computer icon go to manage and then go under computer management device manager and you're going to see uh, under here hopefully uh, other devices and you'll see something like video controller VGA compatible yada 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 something like that it's going to have the yellow question mark on it or exclamation mark it may even have a X on it to indicate that it's disabled if you have the X on it you want to right click on it and hit enable as you can see here I have a disable option on it since this one is enabled uh, take its place uh, make sure it's enabled uh, you also want to uh, if you see the yellow question mark on it it means the drivers are not installed for it so you want to go out to the manufacturers website again it could be Nvidia uh, it could be ATI AMD um, if you have a specific graphics card maybe like say Asus uh, BFG or um, what's the other company PNY uh, go to their website and get the specific enhanced driver for that card because each card from each manufacturer it's going to have different tweaks to its drivers um, worst case you can go through and 95% of the time use the generic driver off of either NVIDIA or ATI's website because face it they're really the only two guys that make graphics drivers um, you could also have something like an Intel video card, being that this is built into the computer here. There's a pretty good chance this is a built-in Intel card um, or part of the NVIDIA Enforce driver. So make sure you get your chipset driver installed, as you see here. SM bus controller indicates I do not have it installed in this uh, computer. But go through, install that driver reboot the computer. Chances are your screen is going to go to the correct resolution should be at. Uh, if not, go back in here and just change your resolution. And that's generally it. Um, the key thing for video performance is making sure you have uh, the correct drivers installed for your video card. Um, some people will say that sometimes the monitor driver will matter on performance. I have not seen a significant improvement for that. Um, I've just seen that basically the colors are better. That's it. Um, but without having the latest driver installed, your uh, computer can run a bit slower. Not having it installed at all will definitely make it run much slower. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, there's really nothing else you can do as far as uh, fixing an issue like that except making sure you got the drivers in uh, a resolution that works with your screen. Uh, some screens will report to Windows its maximum resolution. If you do not have your driver installed for the graphics card, you'll have like what we have here. We can actually go beyond what this monitor supports and you just get a signal out of range and as long as you don't say yes to the background screen that you won't be able to see it should default back to what it just was so 
uh, that's it. And uh, if you got any questions, feel free to post them below. And uh, until next time, I'll see you later.